This is a world where the identities of men and women are reversed. Men have to wear super short shorts and show their white thighs. Women stand up to pee and earn money to support the family. Not only that, men also need to unhair their entire body, not even dropping their toes. Then they wear ultra short cans to show white thighs. This is the rule of survival nowadays. But this man named Damien does not think so. He came home and looked at his county pink room and began to worry. It turns out he just arrived in this world. Just a few days ago, he was walking with his best friend on the side of the road, admiring the beautiful legs of the girls. But then he turned his head and hit the railing. When he woke up, his life was in disarray. As a man, his closet is full of sexy clothes. He's still being molested by hooligans when she goes out. Damien rushes to his friend's house to find out what's going on. But he finds out that his friend is working full-time as a house husband. He spends a lot of time taking care of her body every day, worrying about her appearance. Damien's feelings were very mixed. He turned his head and saw a boy in short shorts on his way to ballet lessons. He goes home to look for his parents, only to see his father discussing L art with a customer. All the men here are soft and beautiful. Women, on the other hand, are the executives of the company and are responsible for making important decisions. Even the president is a woman. Damien is totally devastated. He is a muscular man. How could he live here? Damien is worried about his future. He wants to go back to his old place. So he goes back to the intersection hugging the railings and banging them. But to no avail, he can't go back. Luckily, he is handsome and soon a woman asks him out. The place was a bar. The customers were all women. They were all commenting on the men dancing on the pole. Damien finds it very new and shouts along with them. After the drinks, he and the woman go to the room. Both of them are full of desire and are about to make out. The woman can't wait to pull off his shirt, but stops when she sees the hairy chest. Damien is proud of his pecs, but the woman feels sick to her stomach. All the boys here are white and tender. Damien's type is very unpopular with women. The woman turns to leave, and after the door closes, Damien starts to think about himself. Survival of the fittest. He had to change if he wanted to survive here. He changed his hairstyle and went to the beauty salon to shave himself. Not only that, he also changed into super short pants. After making the change, Damien finally found a job. His boss, not surprisingly, must be a smart and capable woman. The female boss touches her pants while suggesting ways for the man to get through the project. At the same time, she stretches her feet to the man. The man knows it and even begs for it. But when he lifted the female boss's pants leg, he saw a dense wet hair. The man yells at his boss for being a pervert. And she simply tells him to get lost. That's how Damien got fired. He found another job as a secretary. This time the boss is a handsome, strong woman whose usual job is to write books. In addition, she works out every day in boxing to improve herself. On Damien's first day at work, his boss looks like she's not paying attention, but she's actually showing him her abs. Damien saw through this trick. He had done it himself before. Damien says it doesn't work for him, so the boss buttons up in embarrassment. This was the first time she had seen such a man. When she finished dressing, the boss found Damien looking at his mural. The painting was of a sports car, which was the boss's favorite thing. Damien actually said them all, price and the name of the designer. The boss looked at Damien with surprise. This man had successfully aroused her interest. The men she had dated before were all soft types. Damien's appearance brightened up the boss's eyes. At the same time, she was running out of inspiration for her writing and needed a fresh subject. But one day they had a falling out. Damien and his boss went shopping together and the stuff was heavy. The lady boss said that men don't have to do heavy work. So she took the shopping bags over. Damien's self-esteem was traumatized. Events that the world shouldn't be like this. And then turns around and leaves the boss alone with his thoughts. Back home. His parents start pushing him to get married again, telling Damien to find a woman and get married. Damien knows that if he wants to be independent, he must have an income, he couldn't afford to lose his job, so he went back to his boss and said he was willing to go back to work. The boss smiles, thinks she has everything under control, and agrees to let him go back to work. So Damien started his life as a secretary. The boss loved him so much that she took him to parties to meet her friends, and took him to nightclubs to see beautiful women. Looking at these pairs of feet in high heels, Damien felt like he was back in the old world. He was very excited, and the boss looked at him with affection. The nightclub atmosphere was perfect. They kissed and slapped together. Afterwards Damien acted like a good wife. He started to learn how to iron clothes. They go shopping as lovers. Damien liked his boss so much that now he started to feel good about living here too. But one day, the peaceful and happy life was shattered by the appearance of a man. This woman is a pally girl. She likes to conquer different men, and they are intimate when they do not forget to record the voice. All this is because she is a writer. Recently, she has been deprived of inspiration and has not earned any income for a long time. But then this man named Damien came along. Damien seems to be from another world. His actions and thoughts impacted the woman at every moment. So the woman carries a recording device with her. She records Damien's words, and then listens to these recordings, and starts writing. Damien doesn't notice all this. 
he is already in love with this woman but that day the woman's ex-boyfriend comes to her door and accuses her of cheating on him and playing with different men every time she gets a man she puts a glass bead in the jar damien was hurt when the woman returns home he asks her if she thinks he is one of the glass beads damien is heartbroken he comes home and watches people fall in love on tv and gets teary-eyed too the woman can't leave damien either she spent the last few days away from him by boxing to let off steam missing each other the two decide to put their differences behind them and make up one day they had a flat tire and the woman got out of the car to fix it. Damien sits in the car, enjoying the feeling of being taken care of. He sees a wedding on the side of the road, and suddenly he asks, will she marry him? The woman says yes. Damien is very happy. He tells his friend the news, but he is told that the woman is already married. Damien runs home and turns the house upside down and finds a marriage certificate. Not only that, he also sees the novel written by the woman. It turns out that the woman is really using him. He goes to a bar to get drunk, but he is targeted by three female hoodlums. After staying here for so long, he was not as strong as before and had to be dragged into the room by them. Luckily, the waiter called Damien's friend in time. When the woman got the news, she ran to the bar and saved Damien, who was almost molested. She told Damien that she had divorced her husband, but what Damien couldn't accept more was that the woman had used him. He slapped the woman and then hit her with his head, and so both of them pass out. When the woman woke up, she found herself in the street, the same place Damien had crossed at the time. The woman turned her head and saw that all the women on the street were wearing short skirts and high heels. On the other side of the road, a group of women were marching in protest, calling for equal rights for women. The woman was stunned. Is this Damien's world? Just then she saw Damien in the crowd, and he was greeting her. So, is this Damien's dream or the woman's dream?